I want to talk about the top of our full view here. And of course, you can see here, I put my cursor here. I click on that. This is our machine, tells us the version, and everything about it. I click on here, it's gone. Here, of course, we pull up the menu. Now, this will open the browser and close the browser. I'm looking for files, projects, groups, instruments, samples, effects. They're all right here. All right. This is for the mixer. I click here, I get a mixer view. I can see A group, B group, and C group. A1, B1, C1. I click here, I'm back into my range view. And over here it's idea. From that, it gives me an idea view. Now from here, this is play start. And it starts off, see that? I can click here and stop it with the start play button. But it plays from anywhere. If I stop it, it'll play from where it left off at last. I can record. If I press record here, it allows me to record down here, right here, in my sequence view. Here I can loop anything. So, for example, here I've got this section. If I go here, you'll see this whole section here that I've I've got from the beginning to the end. There's this grayed out, lightly grayed out top part. If I'm not there, You'll see something here. If I pull this back, you'll notice that it's just a slightly grayed out, right? I can come in here and go to right there, we'll say, right? Or go to here. I can also move this little bar down here in the bottom. As you can see here, and sort of stretch it out, get a closer view of what I'm looking at in my arranger section here. So I can come to here. I'll move my cursor here. I get the double arrows there on top. I can pull back. You see, I'm pulling back here, pulling back. I can go ahead and nine, we'll say. And then I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit, and we can see it. But if I go here to loop, we see it more accurately, because I can loop. Let's say, for example, I come here and I wanna loop to here. I'll set my parameters up, I'll press play. I can switch it out more. I'm looping that whole section. I can pull this one over here. Watch this. I can move it over here. Now you heard a click going on there. That's my metronome. I'll turn my metronome off right here. And now there's no metronome. I'll play it again. Now if I turn off loop, it will continue to go. And that's how loop works. 